Hey guys, John Velasco here at E3 2016, and I just got a quick hands-on look at OS VR. It's an alternative VR headset solution, and I got to check out this new concept, this prototype, this glove that where the yeah, glove one, which is allows you to interact in VR. It's basically another way of interacting in the experience. So, as far as the headset's concerned, I actually checked it out a while back at an Acer event. And the headset this time, this second second version, um, the first one was like, uh, I guess, a beta. So this one here has several improvements. The biggest one here is just the resolution. It's bumped up. And for the price, it's cheaper than the Oculus Rift. And basically, when it comes to technology, it's on par to what the Rift offers because you have the headset, uh, you have also the IR camera that's blasting out that IR grid. And basically, you'll be able to interact to some degree uh, in VR. And it felt pretty comfortable. Granted, the design, it's, I wouldn't say as, as polished, but for the price, the affordability factor, it definitely makes it up in, the, in, in that area. Now, as far as the gloves concerned, that's pretty interesting because so far we have, you know, controllers and we have uh, the game pads actually interact in VR. So the demo I checked out was I was in outer space, you know, there's uh, things floating around and the glove, the glove, Almost, almost kind of reminds me of the power glove from Nintendo. So I put it on, it's a tight fit, and at the end of each fingertip, there are some motors. So when you actually try and reach out at something, or try and pinch and grasp something, there's a level of tactility that happens there. Now, it was kind of buggy though, in my experience, and um, it just didn't feel like it was, it was spot on all the time. But granted, it is a prototype unit. The interaction was to degree pretty reactive. But uh, it felt kind of tight. It looked pretty crude in terms of design. It's kind of made out of this mesh type material, and you have it strapped onto your um, to your forearm and then on your elbow, and then another another piece goes around your chest. So it's pretty intricate. But the whole concept is to allow you to have more finer motor skills in VR, whereas right now you just have controllers you'd use or a gamepad to do it. So this has a level degree that you're not going to get in other controlling solutions out there. Now they didn't announce pricing for this uh, this Glove One device, but you can expect to be some sort of premium to it. And the OS VR is going to come cheaper than the Oculus Rift, so that's a good thing if you want to go for something that's a lot more affordable. If you don't have such a high budget but you still want to experience VR it's gonna be a great solution for you so that's it guys so if you want to learn more about this device I talked about you can check our website VR source your source for all kinds of reality